Hello and welcome to the Glass Gallery. The art exhibit this month is called Spring Splendor and the walls are just bursting with spring colors and and spring flowers and it's it's spring in Pembroke Pines. So come along and enjoy this beautiful art exhibit. This is Becky Blackwood, and who is a, a wonderful artist. Becky, this is a triptych. Yes, it is. It's, it's a, three pieces. Yes. It's called a Florida landscape. And what I wanted to do was a panorama of the things that remind me so much of Florida that we, you know, that we take for granted every day and reflects our I don't know landscape. where you found a mountain in Florida, but you got it. Well, it's a sand dune. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the only way I could get into the next piece to make it larger because you certainly wouldn't want this flat and you no. would want this hidden. And, yeah. That's why I did that. It's lovely. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And it's painted in what? Oil on canvas. It is oil. Yes. Because this, that almost looks like well, what you do, another medium. No, it's not really. You take the, uh, the oil and you just do it thickly. You can do it with a palette knife to bring the detail or you can use a brush and put a lot of uh, paint on it and then bring it across and get that effect that you want. Gives it a 3D look, which is wonderful. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I do, too. I like it very much. Well, thank you. This beautiful oil artwork of flowers was painted by this artist, Clara Hada, and, and she sure does know what spring looks like. I do. I you love do, spring. Right? Favorite season? Favorite season. All the flowers are in bloom. Favorite subject. <laughs> yeah. It's my best time obviously. of year. <laughs> Beautiful colors, beautiful style. Thank you. Lovely paintings. Thank you. And they're all oils? You don't Everyone use acrylics? oil. No, I play with acrylics, but not for these. These, these are serious. <laughs> <laughs> because you get vibrant colors like you would in, in acrylic. Uh-huh. Yeah. But oil, oil is just so much nicer to work with. Your work is beautiful, and I'm so happy that it's here. Thank you very so, much. Thank you. And thank you to the city of Pembroke Pines. Yeah, this we're a good city. Wonderful, a wonderful city. Yeah. We appreciate it as artists. This is Marsha Hershey, and this is her lovely work behind us. Marsha, tell me about your work. This is a watercolor batik, and it's made on a rice paper. And you don't do watercolor on batik very often. You use the regular batik process with hot wax. Right. And the others are watercolor. The lobsters, usually uh, the men like those. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's I love this. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And the others are florals and a landscape. And so... You're really a watercolorist. Why I am. do you use rice paper? It was an experiment. I have a friend who also paints on rice paper. It was an paper. experiment, and it worked. And I, I thought it was fun trying it. Yeah, they're lovely. Thank you. They have a texture. Yes, yes. They're beautiful. So good luck. Thank you very much. I appreciate talking to you. Our theme is Spring Splendor, and Irina Romanova Lorenz paints spring in all its glory. Tell me about your paintings. Uh, it's still life, it's flowers, that's what I like to paint. I think plow flowers to very deserve to get paint because they live very short life. Yes. And that's why I'm painting the flowers. And as you go and look at your paintings, you find, oh, look, there's a butterfly. Oh, look, there, there's a exactly. snail. Exactly. People should dig a little bit to find new little object there. That's my, what my idea. It's all about spring, flowers, and love. And it's all oils. It's all oil and a heavy linen. Heavy linen should be treated right way. It's, you know, nice temperature, right, you know, right treatment. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that's what you do. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's old Russian uh, realism style and um, picture done, all pictures done in old Russian realism. Really? That is my education. Is that what is, you learned? That is a 15 year art education in Russia, St. Petersburg and Ukraine. And I'm so glad you brought it here to us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. This is Wendy Nicholas and these are her paintings of of spring. Yes. Tell me about them. Well, uh, because I'm from Australia originally, I, I, it's in my heart and it comes out in all my paintings. And, you know, um, it just makes me feel very um, fulfilled to paint and remember my roots. And so your paintings remind you of home? Yes. Yes. And uh, inspired by home? Yes, absolutely. Did if you study in Australia? No, I, I studied here. I studied some in college and then I, I took uh, some uh, workshops with some really wonderful artists. And I used to paint in a very realistic way and it just as a matter of growth for me, it became more and more abstract and uh, more and more from my heart. So I'm not really, a, a, I was never a big fan of abstract, but more yes. and more I'm drawn to it, and your yes. work really draws me. Oh, thank you so much. So here are some more art lovers. There's our commissioner, Carl Schechter. Hi, Elaine. Hello, commissioner. And Herman Friedman, who is a member of the Art and Culture Advisory Board. Hello, Herman. Thank you. Good day. And so tell me what you think of this show. I think it's outstanding. It I is, mean, isn't the, it? Absolutely, absolutely. The talent that we have in Pembroke Pines and from outside who wants to exhibit here in Pembroke Pines is just overwhelming. Yeah, uh, th so many different types of art and yeah. it, all, it all blends in, so well makes done. a beautiful and, show. Yeah, yeah. I, I just love walking through here every day yeah. and, and seeing it and it's a pleasure to walk into the building. Herman, you're, you're a, a graphic designer, mm -hmm. what do you think? I think this is great. I think it's actually, that I agree with the commissioner, I think it's one of the best that we've ever had. The curator has done a great job, Ben Minaj, and I look forward to see him doing this continually. This very accomplished artist is Rosalind Roth, and these are her beautiful paintings very geometric, and then you have beautiful ladies. What do you paint in? What's your water medium? Watercolor. It's You're... all watercolor. And uh, on what kind of paper? It's arches, arches watercolor paper. Yes. How much time do you spend painting? Well, um, it varies. <laughs> I do paint regularly Saturday with a group of people. And uh, I paint whenever I can. Do you yes. take a class? Uh, no, we're more like an interactive group of painters who work together. That's good. You spur yes. each other on. Yes, we do. Yes. Yeah. Do you, do you get ideas uh, from uh, each other? We do. We do. Yeah. And um, uh, I'm a retired uh, Broward County art teacher. Oh. And the, I never had an opportunity to spend the time on my own work, so now I do. So good luck to yeah, you. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you, Rosalind. Thanks. This is Renee Sands, and her work is behind us, and it's collage. Yes? Collage, yes. That's what it, it is. It looks like paintings, but they're all collages. Yes. What I like to do is I like to paint with paper. That's what I'm actually doing. Sometimes I make my own papers, and sometimes I take papers from magazines. Uh, I don't draw, and I really don't paint because it's it's messy. <laughs> but I love but cutting. But cut and paste is not I messy. No, I love cutting. I really do. It's like when I was a kid, I, I used know. to have the uh, the cutout dolls, paper dolls, the paper dolls. And how long have you been doing this work? Oh, I, I, uh, when I came down to Florida and retired, I was a teacher. 
and uh, I was passionate about teaching. And I was upset because I didn't have an, a passion. I happened to take a, um, a workshop in collage. There must have been 20 of us. I was the only one who kept on with it. And I just fell in love with it, and I've been doing it ever since. And your work is gorgeous. So Thank keep, you keep, so much. Keep cutting and pasting. What Absolutely. Can I <laughs> <laughs> and so these are the, the art connoisseurs who are here every show. Of course, the art curator, Benoit Menashe, and Norma Menashe, who's on the Art and Culture Advisory Board and our wonderful past commissioner, Jack McCluskey. Citizen who, McCluskey. <laughs> yes, and art patron. So, you, you're happy with this show? It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. And uh, I have seven muses, seven women, seven yes. artists. There, is, there isn't a man in the bunch. These women are fantastic. Yes, they are. Fantastic. People are just totally amazed yeah. by the workmanship, the quality, and the beauty of the art that we presented this time. I'm, I'm not a painted flower person, but the, the quality and the ability is Spring. here. Now there's a watercolor, a couple of watercolors around the corner Amazing. that I love. Me too. But I'm soft on watercolors too. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, very, very good. Yeah, great work. It's gorgeous work mm. and we should celebrate it. Mm. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Glass Gallery and its art exhibit, Spring Splendor. It's done by seven terrific local artists. For OCTV, I'm Elaine Kuhlman, and thank you for joining us.